I just reached the legend in Go Buddy League using Kekleon and Hoopa in an amazing team. So now without any further ado, cue the intro. April Fools, we have though a prankster team to showcase in Go Battle League, so you are not gonna miss out on today's content at all. We're gonna use the amazing Kecleon, which is kind of a troll Pokemon, I guess, alongside Hoopa and Hunter. Those two at the backline are pretty good at pranking opponents, so let's see how many we can prank because we're starting off the video with a Bastodon up in front, which means that my team is just gonna get obliterated down. So down goes my Kecleon over here but Hunter can still go in. They save switch into the Medicham so immediately I start thinking that perhaps they have a Shadow Victory Bell at the very end. However, this Bastodon is still super troublesome but in order to pass through that Pokemon and their shields we need to start pushing with those Shadow Claws and if they block here they need to have a Victory Bell at the very end. So by blocking that verifies my assumption. So here comes now another Ice Punch to finish them off so now it is a race to the farm down which we cannot fulfill but at the same time we can survive with 1 HP on our counter and grab this pretty sweaty victory to begin the video. And yes trainers, my hoop over here is under leveled and I just realized it. I don't know why I did it but still I have two moves on it. So anyways I have a lot of rare candies I did not spend and instead I'm just gonna go all in here with my Kecleon up against this Unova Stanford. I don't care about the elo. I don't care if you clicked on the video for that legend mark I'm not gonna even reach expert or veteran to say at least so I'm just gonna keep going at it with this prankster team so Unova Stanfisk able to provide so much pressure to my backline especially with those mad bombs and before we go down I try to unleash the power of the ice punch but my opponent absolutely blocks this. All I need to do here is to go ahead and completely farm down and now that I'm thinking of it if I had here a little bit of extra CP on my Hoopa perhaps we could win this entire thing but we end up falling short to the Dragoner but in the end game they still had the mandibus so nothing to see over here and we would lose no matter what. So Whiskas now on Shadow absolutely a menace for my team and this puppy Pokemon is not gonna be that good for my backline and Whiskas is no, uh, no it's no different at all. So here comes now the air lace that I can throw with my Kecleon and sometimes I think that you need Ice Beam on your Kecleon so air lace not the best option overall but still the spammiest move that Kecleon can carry. Time to emerge into the battle now with Hoopa and we need to protect our Pokemon over here from further harm. So if I, if I was not under leveled over here, my Hoopa could absolutely guarantee the knockout with those confusions and still keep that energy for the end game. but I was kinda in a pickle. Anyways, Hunter comes into the battle to finish them off with that final Shadow Claw. Dugong now at the back comes into play and here is where they are starting to panic because my Hunter is absolutely gonna one shot down with neutral damage and the Shadow Ball, not only Dugong but also Cresselia in an amazing showdown to finish off my opponent in finesse and a lot of pranks on their end. Into the next battle now with Annihilate being one of the worst leads that you can get because it is a fighter but of course we can also have a very good backline up against it but those Night Slashes, oh my goodness we do not like our odds. Anyways, now Dugong comes into the battle and we can get our hands to the Shadow Ball but my opponent knows much better. So at this point I want to let my Hunter go down but at the final second it hit me. All you need to do is to make them think that you can throw that Shadow Ball and they can survive it but unfortunately for me I was so pranked in return because my opponent absolutely blocked my move. Some people do not have much humor. Anyways now Skarmory comes into the battle and seeing that Pokemon makes me think that my Hoopa is so bad on this uh, matchup so I'm just gonna back out from this battle and get pranked instead. So another Annihilate, this time we're just gonna switch out immediately to our Hunter and see how they respond since they want to throw that Night Slash. 
After that, we will try to go for the bait and prank our opponents, but we were so frail that we cannot land another prank on their side. So the initial pranker Keklon returns into the battle. I know that uh, this uh, incinerate damage is absolutely absurd on my team. We're super glassy over here, but hopefully we can still farm down with our Hoopa. Let's see what they have at the very end though, because a lantern emerges. All we need here is to completely farm down when they're trying to sneak that uh, annihilate to catch the move we know better psychic now to land but unfortunately for us we are under leveled and we did not go ahead and apply the debuff which is kind of a deal breaker for us over here and i could have gone so many more individual matchups with my hoopa if i was not under leveled so so many pranks but this time on my end as well dugong up in front we're just gonna keep going at it with the april fool's team style and Kekleon is just gonna uh, stay into the battle going for the aerial lays or whatever. No, just gonna see the switch out and follow with our Shadow Hunter. Well, just show your appreciation to this video by liking uh, the video and of course comment down below how you think uh, this team could be any more better because besides my underleveled Hoopa, I think that it started off as a joke but overall has a lot of play against the entire meta. So anyways, now I punch on the shield and do one more to try and grab that second shield out of play but my opponent knows much better for sure now Keklin goes in I really like those little movements that Keklin is doing those with its head, that's super cute. Anyways, now uh, that uh, Galate is coming into the battle, I know that we have to sacrifice Koopa for the greater good here, and in the process, Kekleon can easily go in and start farming down the remaining HP, but unfortunately for my calculations, we fall short to this trainer, even though we could have had a complete chance of finishing them off with the leaks. Anyways, into the final battle of today's content, super entertaining stuff if you ask me, with the Trevenant up in front. This is obviously kind of a good lead for us because leak damage is absolutely insane on the ghost types and at the same time we can survive whatever they throw. On the switch we're meeting up with Cresselia, we managed to get that complete farm down after we sealed just once and now with that energy on our hands we can absolutely grab those shields out of play if they return with that Trevenant. Trevenant goes in and right on the CMP we manage to get now to another ice punch which is absolutely great and wonderful for us. Down we go now to the Sim Bomb I guess but at the same time they undercharge so they can get a little bit of uh, energy back but we don't care at all because Keklon can absolutely come in and now it all depends on what they might be having at the very end. Skeletons comes in, you know what trainers, foul plays just gonna hit them for super effective damage and in the process Hoopa doesn't care at all about what move they are gonna throw or it does oh my goodness i thought we could end this video with hoopa but i got pranked and immediately pranked back my opponent with keklon returning into the battle that is gonna be all for today's content as always like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new to my stuff comment down below and i hope to see you all into the next one